Okay, let's try to make this wrench in SolidWorks. First, we're gonna go to File and New and select Part and OK. Let's begin with the handle. Now the handle you'll see here is two inches long and a quarter inch wide. So we go to Extrude Boss Space, select the top plane. You can see it highlighted in orange and select Center Rectangle. Snap to the center and just draw an arbitrary sized rectangle. Then select Smart Dimension and click on that edge. Type in two and hit enter to make that two inches. Next, you're gonna go down here and make this a quarter of an inch. Okay, the next thing we need to do is um, draw these circles around the outside. And we're gonna center those up on the end of the handle. They're gonna be, be 0.6 in uh, diameter. So if we go over here to circle and we want to snap that to the center where the orange square is, pull it out over here, same thing, smart dimension. And let's be careful to mark that as 0.6 on the diameter. Doing the same thing over here. Now the next thing we want to do is get rid of all these extra lines in here because we really want this shape to work with before we punch out our hexagons. So in order to get rid of all these extra lines, we're going to use a tool within SolidWorks called Trim Entities. I'm going to scroll um, my wheel up a little bit like that, maybe center it up like so. Now let's get into Trim Entities. So the first thing I could do here is take that out and this out right here. And the goal is to get all of this to be that, you know, light blue color you see. So we don't need that line or those two lines. And so I'm just marking those out. And we can always hit Control Z if we hit the wrong one. We're getting closer to it. Let's get rid of those. Click and drag. And there's a couple of little extra lines at the end. So we're gonna carefully go and trim those out as well. Now that looks like it's something that would extrude out into the third dimension, but we're not going to extrude it just yet. Let's, um, let's click the green check mark right there and let's put some hexagons in there for the nut. What we're going to do is pull that hexagon out like so until it snaps into that orientation. Now this one over here, uh, let's not put it exactly there because we really want it to be out on the end so that it can be a open end wrench. So a box end here, open end over there. So let's move the center of this hexagon out by 0.12 inches. So in order to do that, we can just kind of hover over that horizontal dotted line and then click and drag hexagon out. And we're gonna size this. We want it to be enough so that it would hold a three H uh, so that it would wrap around a three H inch um, nut. Now, what I'm going to do for that is give it a little bit of uh, extra space in there. So instead of 0.375, I'm going to make it 0.39 instead, just so I have a little extra space to go around the nut or the bolt that we're working on. Okay, and now what we can do is use the smart dimension to go between this one and that one. And this is where we're gonna put 0.12. Now we could do a little bit better. There's a little bit too much metal there, but that's good enough for what we want to do. Now, I think if we hit uh, exit sketch, what it might be able to do is give us the opportunity to extrude this out. Let's go over here, see that it's not actually letting us do it yet. So let's hit X out right there. Select the sketch and let's try to maybe um, highlight the areas we want to extrude right there. That looks pretty good. And how about the dimensions or the thickness? We can make it 0.1 inches. All right, let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Let's add a little bit of character to it by making it our own. So what we could do is go up here to the top plane and then face it like so.
So I right click and then select top plane perpendicular to, and let's put our last name across here. So what we're gonna do is um, we're also gonna extrude that out so it'll be kind of risen from that surface. So what we're gonna do is, um, let's go back over here, extrude. It says select the face. You know what? I need to make sure that this is the right face. So I'm gonna hit escape, right click and go over here to rotate view because I wanna make sure that I'm writing on that surface. Let's try that again, making sure I'm on that uh, plane and then going over to my sketch. Let's put some words down. Let's change the font just a little bit down here. Make it a bold font, select like points and 14. Let's move this over here. So it's kind of centered like so, green check mark. When you like it, uh, when you like the, the the font and the size, and then I think we can hit exit sketch and create a little bit of extrude. That's way too high, so instead of 0.1 inches, let's make it 0.02 and see if that looks a little bit better. 0.02. Let's agree to that, and then kind of right click. Go up here to pan rotate and just make sure that that looks about right for the dimensions. One final thing that we can do here is add some curvature to these edges, a fillet. And so I want it to be smooth on that edge, that edge, all the way around here as well. And then even around that arc and that arc. And you can choose to actually put it inside of this as well and even do it on both sides if you want to. It looks like it went a little too far. So anytime you get into this position where it looks like that's not gonna happen the right way, I think it's gonna try to put too much fillet in there. Just X out, try again. Maybe I can just keep it simple by doing that edge, that edge there, this outside arc, this outside arc there, and that one there. That might be good enough to begin with. And let's make the, um, radius of that curvature right there, really small, 0 0.02 inches, and see how that looks. Now, if you wanna put some curvature in there like I was trying to do, you can certainly do that. And if you wanna put it on the other side, you can flip this over and um, put uh, fillets on this side, or even put more words on the other side as well. And then once you're done, just go ahead and file, save as, and let's save this uh, to your desktop right here as um, wrench. Actually, let's put this in the downloads directory instead. Wrench 2022, like so. All right, that's a good start for today. I'll go on to the next project shortly.